don't know how you do what you do Cause everything that don't make sense about me Makes sense when I Maureen, let me start by saying how beautiful you are and how proud I am to be your father. I remember when you were little, promising us to never grow up and never change. While we knew that was impossible, I am so proud of the amazing woman you've become. You've always been my snug little snuggler. You've always had so much love in your heart and have always shown everyone how much you, they mean to you. You truly have a heart of gold and there's no one more loyal. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> entered the world, I knew my life would be different from that moment on. I was now a big sister, a job I took very seriously. Um, I took it upon myself from the day she was born to protect her with every fiber of my being. I was the quiet one, the queen of caution, while Morgan would throw caution to the wind and talk to anyone that would listen. <laughs> Um, she often told me when we were growing up that she wanted to be just like her sissy, but what I don't think I ever told her was how much I wanted to be like her. We have all come here this afternoon at the invitation of Morgan and Ben to share this very special and significant day with them. All of us gathered here this afternoon, your family, your friends, are delighted to be able to share the happiness of this day with you. They have all come here today because they love you, because they affirm your desire to be married and want to bless your relationship. I, Ben. I, Ben. Take you, Morgan. Take you, Morgan. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Ben, Morgan, you have come before us and before God and have expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands, by tying a knot, having made promises of faith and devotion to one another, and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. It is my honor, therefore, to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. It is my privilege to introduce you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Franklin. And I don't remember the first day I met Ben. I really don't. Uh, but I remember I, I met Morgan. Uh, she was at softball. She was sitting in the back of somebody's truck in the tailgate. She's like, hi, I'm Mo. And I'm like, hi, I'm Josh. And then she introduced me as Ben's other half. Uh, and then I realized just that she's a special person with a big heart if she will claim Ben that quickly. <laughs> a kid with a big heart who at school he would play games with the kids who had handicaps or didn't have friends just to make them feel part of the group. We were truly amazed when we finally got to meet Morgan. After hearing about her for a long time we finally got to meet her and it was very obvious why he fell in love so quick and so wonderful. Morgan you've been a true joy to have in our family. Most fathers of 
daughters, I was concerned that they would never meet a man who I thought would be good enough for them. I'm very happy Morgan has found that person in Ben. I know how much you love her and we'll take care of her. And you guys are beautiful, Morgan. You'll always be our family. Ben, you'll always be my brother. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you, Morgan. I'm sorry to say there is no return policy that we have on Ben. <laughs> He's yours. <laughs> okay. except the only last name that is worse than Durlishon. <laughs> so my advice is to love one another, support one another, listen to each other, and eat all the ice cream you can. No matter what life brings you, may your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts join forever in love. All God blessings to you both. Cheers. Cheers.